Hey everybody, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm excited to show you guys this brand new panel from Optivolt. Now they claim that they have fixed partial shading issues. This is the first panel that they claim that works in the shade. So I'm really excited to test that out. So here in this video, we're actually gonna do a head-to-head -head comparison. Over there I have my Bougeard V 100 watt nine bus bar panel. So it uses nine bus bars and half cut cells. And this one right here also uses nine bus bars and half cut cells. So the performance in full sun should be pretty similar between these two panels. However, we're gonna see a major difference when we test partial shading. Now, before testing the output on both of these panels, it's important to angle them properly at the sun. So let's go ahead and use the can trick to see if we can get these angled properly. Now, I like to use black bean cans from Walmart because they give you the best performance here. But what you do is you put the can on top of the solar panel and you're gonna move the solar panel around until the shadow completely disappears. And that means that it's angled properly at the sun. Now, some of you may be wondering why the panels are angled so steeply. Well, we are pretty close to winter solstice here in the Northern hemisphere when the sun is at its lowest point. So this is the proper angle to get the most power. Now, as for solar conditions today, it's around 38 degrees. We have quite a bit of smog. So we'll see how that affects the panels. Now the first set of tests that we're gonna be doing on these panels now that they're angled properly is a full sun test. So let's go ahead and connect these up to the EcoFlow Delta II and see how many watts we get from each panel. So checking the open circuit voltage on the Bouge RV 100 watt panel, we're seeing 20.97 volts. So with the Bouge RV panel connected up, we're getting 84 watts charging input. And checking my inline voltmeter for voltage under peak power, it's right around 16.9 to 17 volts. Now using my clamp meter to check the amperage for the Bouge RV panel, we're seeing right around five amps. Now checking the voltage open circuit for the OptiVolt panel, sitting at 45.3 volts. Now with the OptiVolt 100 watt panel connected up, we're getting 86 watts input. So just a little bit more power than the Bouge RV panel. Now checking the voltage under peak power for the OptiVolt panel, we're getting right around 35 and a half volts. Now checking the amperage of the OptiVolt panel, we're getting around two and a half amps. Well, now that we've finished the full sun testing, I wanna go ahead and start some partial shading tests. So the first test, I'm gonna shade the three bottom solar cells to see what type of power we get on the OptiVolt, and then I'll move the shadow over to the Bouge RV. So with the three bottom cells partially shaded, we're seeing around 51 watts input from the OptiVolt solar panel. Now a shout out to Johnny's Weekends. He is a fellow YouTuber who also does partial shading with a chair like this because it gets you more realistic results. So you can see now here on the Bouge RV 100 watt panel, I have it shaded the three cells just like the other one. Let's see how much power we're getting. So with the Bouge RV 100 watt panel connected up, we are seeing zero wattage. So quite the difference between those two scenarios. Now just to prove that I'm not playing games here, there's the Bouge RV wiring. It's the black wire here. We're gonna follow that into the shed and it is plugged into the power station. And then we're gonna look at the screen here, zero watts. So for the next shading scenario, I've moved the chair so that it's just shading one solar cell in the corner of the OptiVolt. So let's go ahead and see how many watts we're getting. So with the OptiVolt with one cell shaded, we're getting 74 watts charging input. So now we're gonna to go do the same test on the Bouge RV panel. I have that one cell in the corner shaded. I've connected it up, so let's see how many watts we're getting. So with one cell shaded on the Bouge RV panel, we're getting 27 watts input. Wow guys, I am definitely impressed with this OptiVolt panel. It's living up to the claim of performing better in shading. So for the final shading test, I've moved the chair really close to the panel. So you can see we're blocking quite a bit of the cells on it. So I'm curious to see if we're getting any power at all. Okay, so with the panel connected up, we're still getting 53 watts. So that is really impressive. So I've tried to copy the exact shading pattern on the Bouge RV panel. So let's go ahead and see what type of wattage we're getting on this one. So I've connected up the Bouge RV panel and we are getting zero wattage. So just tells you right there how much better that OptiVolt panel does in the shade. Now when looking at the back of each of these panels, you can tell there is a difference in the design on the OptiVolt. For example, the Bouge RV just has MC4 connectors and this waterproof junction box. And then when looking at the OptiVolt, you actually have this circuitry built into it. It does have proprietary cables, but it does come with MC4 adapters. So you can still connect up to an MC4 system. Now, a few interesting facts about the OptiVolt panel, they are designed to only be connected together in parallel. You cannot wire them together in series, and that's because of the circuitry. Now you can connect up to six of them in parallel for a 600 watt array. 
Now the OptiVolt is offered in two different voltages. You can get a low voltage or high voltage option. I opted for the 48 volt high voltage option. So when you put these together in parallel, you can get a good amount of voltage and amperage. Now some of you may be wondering, when is it ideal to choose a panel like this versus a regular solar panel? Well, think if you have a very limited solar install space, like on the top of an RV, or if you have a small trailer, but you have a lot of shading. So you have an AC or other vent systems that shade your panels. You're gonna get a lot more power over time by using this type of panel. And you're also going to avoid the damage, um, like the hot spotting that you get on a regular solar panel. So I definitely recommend using a panel like this if you're looking for a lot more power in those partial shading environments. If you don't have shade at all, well then don't worry about you know, using a regular solar panel. Now what about price? Well, these are fairly expensive. With the new technology, you're gonna pay for that. Uh, this one comes in a little bit more than $300. So you can usually get a 100 watt panel around a dollar per watt, sometimes a little bit more or a little bit less. So this panel costs about three times the price. So you guys will have to let me know what you guys think about the performance from the Optivolt solar panel. This is the first panel that I've seen that has some sort of complicated circuitry built into it to get really good partial shading performance. And like always, if you like the video, please smash the thumbs up button. I will include all the information to this product down in the video description if you're interested in learning more about the technology. Overall, pretty impressive performance with this 100 watt panel and the shading. So thank you guys so much for watching the video. Until next time, we'll see you guys later.